Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new changes and improvements on Windows 11 build 22000.160. In this flight there are not a lot of changes. Microsoft is only tweaking Windows Update and introducing an updated version of the Clock app. So here's what's new on Windows 11 build 22000.160. If you remember, in previous releases, Windows 11 introduced a new notification that will tell you how long it's going to take to install an update on the system. In this new release, Microsoft is making changes, so that notification will only appear on computers that feature solid state drives. If you have a computer with a mechanical drive, you will no longer see that estimated time to apply an update. And that notification usually appears right here on Windows Update or when opening the Power Options menu, and it will tell you that you have an update pending and the estimated time. So that will change moving forward. Then there is also the new Clock app that includes an updated interface matching the design of Windows 11. As you can see, we get a new interface that includes the new materials, iconography, fonts, and everything that matches how the operating system looks like right now. And of course, this is the update that includes focus sessions which is a feature designed to be a new way for users to focus on tasks and work. The feature integrates with the Microsoft To Do app and Spotify to create sessions where you can pick your task and a Spotify list and set a timer to complete the task. However, the experience requires a little bit of setup at the beginning. For example, you must sign in with your Microsoft account to access the Microsoft To Do tasks and you need to have installed the Spotify app and then you have to link it to complete the integration. So here's the focus sessions feature on the Clock app. So, and to get started, you need to sign in with your Microsoft account. Once you do that, you will see your tasks list to create a new session. And then you also need to link your Spotify account with the application. Because I just installed the Spotify app that you can see right here. I have this option. If I didn't have the app, you will not, you will not have this option. So you first have to install the Spotify app. So I'm now just going to link the application and then you have to agree to the privacy settings. Then when you have everything set up, you can create your session. And to do that, you will select the task that you want to complete. And then on the Spotify section, you're going to select the playlist that you want to be listening to while you're doing your task and then you will set the time that you're going to dedicate for that specific session. Depending on the time range that you select you will get a number of automatic breaks however if you want to skip the breaks you can simply check this option and once you're ready just click the start focus session button. Then during a specific period, as you can see in the next five minutes, we're going to get a break, but you can stop the focus session if you want. And all the daily progress will be tracked in this widget right here. It is also possible to edit the daily progress. You can launch the Spotify app, collapse it or view settings. And you can also keep it on the top to just see some information about the session. And that's pretty much it. That's a closer look at the new focus sessions for the clock app on Windows 11. Another thing that I wanted to point out is now that we can go to the settings page and in here, there are some settings that you can adjust. You can adjust the uh, focus period, break periods. You can enable or disable the end of session sounds. Also for the end of break sound, you can manage your Spotify account and you can also show tiles in the focus section experience for Microsoft to-do lists. In addition, you can change the app color theme. You can switch it to the light or dark. You can configure notifications and you can clear your privacy settings. And that's it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.